guys, this is the Game Golem, and welcome back to another video in Minecraft Story Mode. Um, today in this video, um, I plan to finish, and start and finish a block in a hard place, so it might be kind of a long video. And also, sorry guys, I still have allergies, the sniffles, so I'm gonna be kind of like, <sighs> the whole video. <laughs> sorry about that, but let's just go ahead and start. Minecraft story mode. Everything in the Just real quick, I'm going to make sure it's still recording because sometimes it stops recording. Yep, yeah, alright, we're good. The universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who wield them. And in every block, there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. And beloved heroes can fall. Oh no, I remember that. Oh, I forgot we lost Magnus. to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. Petra forgot what? that she's Petra. Is on this? Are you okay? I... I don't... Do I... know you? Jesse! Jesse! Where are you? Alright, we're going. Say something, Jesse! We're coming! No way! No way! You found Petra? Who is Petra? This is not good. Anyone seen a mine cart? I think Axel still has one from the Nether, but it won't help. We need to lay down too much track. We'll have to use the next best thing. Yes. Everybody, get on! Take Gabriel. 
Then I've got Petra. Hold on, this might be a bumpy ride. some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. She was inside the wither. She might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way she's been acting. I'll go talk to her. Hey, how are you feeling? I don't really feel like myself. I still can't believe you're even alive. Do you not recognize us? I'm Axel. This is Olivia. The Witherstorm did something to her. So she doesn't remember anything? Not even me? Who can forget me? <laughs> Jesse, this is awful. You, Jesse, you're the one who rescued me. Tell me, please, what is going on? remember it was endless blackness up until a little while ago we all thought that you were you know i thought i was too all i know is i was so scared in there i thought for sure i was dying well you didn't you made it back alive we didn't all make it back though oh man magnus for a second there, I almost forgot. 
Are we talking about Magnus? Yeah. Oh, Magnus. Couldn't believe it then. Still can't believe it. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone! He knew the risks, and still he let me take his armor. He was so brave. He was also incredibly stupid, but still so brave. Indeed. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I <laughs> want to know is, what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. The Formidabomb just wasn't strong enough. I mean, it ripped the Witherstorm apart, but it didn't make a dent in the command block. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is. Oh, great. And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one Witherstorm to three. Our plan was a total failure. I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Why didn't I destroy that cursed block ages ago? Soren, why didn't it break? The Formidabomb was, like, the strongest weapon imaginable. Oh, why are you asking me? Nobody's ever built one until now. Ugh. I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? You have no idea. That jacket, it looks familiar. Lucas always wears that jacket. No, I saw other people wearing it when I was being thrown from that, that monster. Ugh, even thinking about it hurts. Hey, hey, it's okay. Is to remember if what Petra said is true, I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... Lucas, your friends could still be out there! I know, and that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Oh, no. No, we can't, we can't lose... We can't lose Lucas. Everything's spinning. It's okay. Easy does it. The other ocelots were dead, but if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far, but I can't leave them alone out there. I don't know not with say. three wither storms raging. I've got to try, Jesse. Otherwise, I just couldn't live with myself. Lucas, look, you and me—we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Otherwise, you'd be heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them, and then I'll find you again, too. I promise. Thanks. I cannot believe I just did that. like a little ladder. Can we go up there? Please? I wanna go up this ladder. I guess not. Let's go talk to Soren. Look, Soren. I said I needed some space, Jesse. Actually, you said you needed time to think. So, did you think of anything? 
Not really. I'll let you know if I do. to go after this cave. Give him some time to get his strength back. Problem is, we don't have time. Jesse's right. In fact, it might be best if my journey ends here. This cave is safe, easy to defend. It's relatively comfortable. Forget it, Gabriel. I won't let you hole up in a cave while the rest of us fight. You think I want this? No, Jesse, but... I'm sorry. There's nothing more I can do. <sighs> nothing had to turn out like this. If the order had just been different, if we'd made smarter choices, Ivor wouldn't have turned into a maniac and... Well, maybe Magnus would still be alive. Let's just let bygones be bygones. We've all made mistakes, including Ivor, right? Nothing's quite that simple, but I appreciate you saying that. All this talk of the past has me exhausted. You need to rest. Will he be okay? I honestly don't know. Just get back out there and kick some butt for the both of us. How are you doing? Are you remembering things yet? I... I don't know. These little flashes keep coming back to me, but then they float away again. We've been trying to talk to her, but... It's like she's never met us before. I know I've met you before. Before today, I mean. I just don't remember how exactly. I keep seeing a dark alley. You totally came to my rescue in the forest, remember? I remember. All right, guys. Spider. In a second, yes, it right. just randomly, like, <laughs> and you needed me to kill it for you, right? It like, took me by crashed. Surprise. So yes, that's don't working. freak out. It didn't completely Jesse. start over, but you we're gonna have to start too? over one little bit. No. So sorry. I feel like I know all of you. I don't know what just happened. That was crazy. Oh, we made have to it. redo all of this. Jesse, Petra was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. She was inside the wither. She might have wither sickness. Sorry, guys, we're gonna have to redo this. I don't know. Yes. You never acted the way she's been acting. I'll go talk to her. Hey, how are you feeling? I don't really feel... Like myself? I still can't believe you're even alive. Do you not recognize us? I'm Axel. This is Olivia. Just give her some space. She may still come out of it. What if she doesn't? What if it's permanent? Jesse, this is awful. You, Jesse. 
You're the one who rescued me. Tell me, please, what is going on? All I remember was endless blackness. Up until a little while ago, we all thought that you were, you know. I thought I was too. All I know is, I was so scared in there. I thought for sure I was dying. Well, you didn't. You made it back alive. We didn't all make it back, though. Oh, man. Magnus. For a second there, I almost forgot. Are we talking about Magnus? Yeah. Oh, Magnus. Couldn't believe it then. Still can't believe it. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend. Guys, it was my fault. I'm the one who took Magnus's armor. But you couldn't have known what was going to happen. She's right. You can't blame yourself, Jesse. Mm, I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. Indeed. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You tell me. Excuse me? Well, you're the one who thought we could destroy the command block with a big old bomb. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is. Oh, great. And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one wither storm to three. Our plan was a total failure. I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. So is the command block controlling all three wither uh, storms? Why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? Uh, I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? You have no idea. That jacket, it looks familiar. Lucas always wears that jacket. No, I saw other people wearing it when I was being thrown from that, that monster. Ugh. Even thinking about it hurts. Hey, hey, it's okay. Jesse, if what Petra said is true, I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... Lucas, your friends could still be out there. I know, and that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. <gasps> the room. Everything's spinning. It's okay. Easy does it. All right, let's try and just do everything real quick that we did. Gravel? No. Dirt? Don't think so. No, I, I kind of, I kind of don't want to send I Lucas you. off. I'm going after um, my friends. But I thought the I'm other ocelots were dead. Because that's what but I. If they're did. not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. You're right. They do need you. And the best way to help them is to help us beat that monster. That sounds right. But it just doesn't feel right, Jesse. Lucas. Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Otherwise, you'd be heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them. And then I'll find you again, too. I promise. Thanks. Alright, um... So... Oh yeah, we went to, uh, grab some stuff out of the chest. Some leftover cobblestone might come in handy. And we talked to Ruby. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. All right. And we talked to Petra. Petra, how are you doing? Are you remembering things yet? I... I don't know. These little flashes keep coming back to me, but then they float away again. We've been trying to talk to her, but... It's like she's never met us before. 
I know I've met you before. Before today, I mean. I just don't remember how exactly. I keep seeing a dark alley. We jumped off a bridge together. It was terrifying. Slash awesome. Slash terrifying. Are you the one who wanted to jump instead of fight? Hey, nothing wrong with knowing your own limitations. Yes, it's working. You're remembering Jesse. Do you remember me too? No. And yet, I feel like I know all of you somehow. Maybe it's the way you're dressed. Axel's practically obsessed with you. All right, this is where it cut off. He was willing to do anything to get back at the guy who swindled you. Uh, to be fair, I probably would have stolen something from that jerk anyway. Wait, didn't we all fight that wither thing together? Yes, we totally did. She remembers it. I remember her running to a, a, a temple in the woods and we were going to be safe there. And how did I end up inside that thing? Oh, uh, well, something bad happened there. I just, I can't remember what. It's like it's on the tip of my tongue. All that matters is you're with us now. And that you're still a fighter. The best one I know. So, what do you say? Will you be part of our group again? All right. Count me in. Look, Soren. I said I needed some space, Jesse. <coughs> Actually, you said you needed time to think. So, did you think of anything? Not really. I'll let you know if I do. Oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Yes, you should always pay attention in this game. Hello, tree. Will we go up this ladder yet? I want to go up here because I remember watching somebody play Minecraft Story Mode, and that's how you found Ivor. Alright, let's just go talk to everybody that we can. glad you came along. Just don't tell Reuben I said that. He might get jealous. Alright, what else can we do? Okay. Jesse. Hello. Just making the rounds. Gabriel, you look awful. Your skin is like almost gray. Uh, I feel even worse than I look. You need to rest. You're right, I do. Look, Jesse, wherever you decide to go after this cave, give him some time to get his strength back. Problem is, we don't have time. Jesse's right. In fact, it might be best if my journey ends here. This cave is safe and easy to defend. It's relatively comfortable. I might even find a shred of peace. Sorry, Jesse. I wish I were stronger. <sighs> Nothing had to turn out like this. If the order had just been different, if we'd made smarter choices, Ivor wouldn't have turned into a maniac and, well, maybe Magnus would still be alive. Let's just let bygones be bygones. We've all made mistakes, including Ivor, right? Nothing's quite that simple, but I appreciate you saying that. All this talk of the past has me exhausted. You need to rest. Will he be okay? I honestly don't know. Just get back out there and kick some butt for the both of us.
Alright, let's see what else we could do in here. Oh, there's Ruben. Ugh! A pig? Ruben! Do we have to go chase Ruben? Ruben! There he is. Don't run off on me like that, okay? I don't want to lose you, you understand? <laughs> you've run off before, but things are different now. We've lost too many people already. The world needs us, Reuben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. Well, maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. That's what I said, isn't it? The past. It's oh, about the wait, future. I think that's Ivor. There are three of those things now. You say that like it's my fault. It is your fault. Oh, take responsibility for what? Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? What are you doing here, Ivor? Come to lock me in another room? I came to offer my help. Huh. He's been following us. It's not like that. You need to hear me out. All right, Ivor, what, what you, you got to say? Is you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! <laughs> no, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm is acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. What? Gabriel? You see, I Plot may twist. have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean... The Order's amulet. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Did you also know I was the one he gave the amulet to? What? I... I didn't know. Ugh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Enderman? <laughs> Enderman? Jesse's right. The Withers' gaze passed over them. The trouble is, we've had a few run-ins with Enderman, and they're bad news. Mm, not necessarily. Enough of them working together might ignore us and destroy a Witherstorm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. Is that even possible? Yes. Yes, I, I think it might be. We'd simply need to get a large group of them into the storm's vicinity. In fact, there's probably more than enough of them still in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Ooh, jeez. Getting feisty up in here. The question is, how to bring the storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least... Not from mere mortals. Wait, it's obvious. We simply bring the amulet back to my fortress. Soren, I like it. If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block. Ugh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a formidable. Actually, I may have a solution to that. Oh. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a fail-safe. A backup plan, just in case. What kind of fail-safe, exactly? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever. Yes. Yes, that's it. It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? 
Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? Oh, they've gotten closer. How did it find us so quickly? It just keeps coming for us. Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. Guys, there's a reason it's been following us. Ivor says it's because of the amulet that Gabriel... Ivor? Well, I'll be. It is you. A pleasure, as always, Eligard. Anyway, Ivor's figured out that Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're going to lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. Axel, are you sure? Of course not. <laughs> but you'll have three wither storms chasing you wherever you go. Yeah, if things get too intense, I'll duck into the nether or something. I'm tired of always being the selfish one. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, I want to go with Jesse. That feels like where I belong. Me too. But what do we do about Gabriel? The rest of you go. I'll take care of Gabriel. Are you certain? Yes, I own that much at least. Besides, I'm not going anywhere with Ivor. <laughs> but Lucas is out there all by himself. Try to do that to yourself, Ivor. There's nothing you can do for him. Guys, we need to go now. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The redstone wrap? You got it. Oh, well. Real heroes don't need handshakes anyway. I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Wait, didn't even let me do it. Not if I see you first. It's actually like just the opening credits right now. It's been almost 45 minutes. Is it much further? Not too much further. Ruben just sitting behind me. Keep going, everyone, onward. That's really not necessary. I bore one. Just trying to be encouraging. Whoa, ice spikes by them. Those are like really rare. I'm gonna taking a nap. He's getting tired. Oh, 
Who is that? Just, just kidding. What is what is he doing? What is Jesse doing? never been so sore in my life. Not that I remember. It feels like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Perlin noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. Hold on, back up. What exactly are the Far Lands? Are you being serious? The Far Lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? You asking me? All I can think about is food. No kidding. I'm starving. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. Guys, we can't turn back now. Not after coming so far. Fine, but I'm taking a break. So am I. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? I guess we're going to go take these potatoes. Potato, you're coming with me. Not much, but it'll help. Oh, is that a cake? Like they say, two potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Yeah, since when have they said that? Jesse, have you found any food? I should probably take what I have back to the group. I know that I should, but there's like a cake right here. A witch's hut. Yeah. We should steer clear of it. Nothing good ever happens when witches are involved. Look, a cake. That's that's enough to feed everyone. It isn't worth it, Jesse. Witches hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. I can't pass this up. I need you to watch my back, okay? I'm telling you, this is a bad idea. I don't care, it's for cake. Grab that cake, quick. Entire cake, nice! Is there anything in here that we can use, actually? Potion of leaping, cool! Alright. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Yes. Oh no, this is not good. Hey, you, witch! Everyone, let's get out of here ASAP! Ivor said the Far Lands are just past the swamp. Wait, where is Ivor? 
I thought he was with you. I don't know. He disappeared outside the witch's hut. Curse that fool of a man. Come on! Guys, I think we lost them. For... Wow! You lost them for wow? What is that? Oh. Whoa. It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. This is, like, really cool. Look, everything's, like, all weird Glad and glitchy. Glad snag this cake. Makes the whole wall of insanity thing a lot easier to face. Hmm. I think I like cake. Who doesn't like cake? By the sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory. So what am I looking at here, exactly? This is a natural phenomenon. The intersection of two of the great walls that form the boundary of our world. Very few have seen it in person. Feeling kind of overwhelmed right now. You're not the only one. Ivor really went out of his way to make sure he'd never have visitors, huh? He was always seen it was both his weakness and his strength. Whatever Ivor is hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if Axel and Lucas were here. Come on! Alright guys, that is going to be it for now. Um, I know I said we'd finish it, but it's been about a half an hour. I'm going to try and keep the episodes down to about a half an hour. So, thank you all for watching, and part two of episode four will be out soon. Bye!